Hey everyone, Storyteller Ellie here. I'm coming to you from my quarantine corner in my house. Uh, I just wanted to pop in real quick and let you guys know before we get started, just a few housekeeping things. First off, we pre-recorded this episode uh, before the world got really bad, so everyone in this episode is safe and healthy. Uh, we also filmed this while we were building our brand new studio, so you're going to kind of see us in the middle. This isn't really what the show's going to look like, so just bear with us. Uh, we're super happy to be working with the Neighborhood Studio, so can't wait for you guys to see what season two looks like. And the big note that I want to make is that because this was pre-recorded, we are advertising a LARP um, that is put on by By Night Studios, Blood and Betrayal, and the event was affected by the coronavirus outbreak and is postponed. However, you can still go to the By Night Studios website. The event is still happening. They are working on getting a new date right now. So you can go to their website and join their Discord server and be up to date on all the info when it comes out. I will be there. Uh, I will be playing the Malkavian Seneschal Saoirse Doyle, and I intend on causing a ruckus. So I think you guys should come and join us. So now I'm going to let you get back to waiting and let's get the stream started. Hello, my darlings. What you're about to see is a prologue to our second season, and it's a special little insight into what we have in store. This prologue is brought to you by By Night Studios' upcoming premium LARP event, Blood and Betrayal Redemption. So join us in Orlando, April 24th through the 26th, for a night of political intrigue and social combat. Details and tickets are available at bynightstudios.com. So now, let's meet our vampires. Hi, my name is Tyler Sutherland, and I play Aaron. My name is Dustin Fletcher, and I play Cirrus. Zachary Vado, playing Anton Kravopolskov, and it has been a hectic time. <laughs> and our special guest, Elise Hawes, the community and marketing director for By Night Studios, will be joining us, as they say, at a dramatically appropriate moment. All right, so let's begin. Anton. 
you are currently in the middle of teaching class. Uh, it's about to wrap up. You can tell your students are staring at the clock, waiting for the minute to hit. Tell you what, we can go over, uh, we can go over secret societies of Spain in the next class. Take off, it's fine, it's fine. The class very enthusiastically grabs their things and gets up to leave. Be sure to, be sure to do the reading. Office hours are tomorrow normal time. Go on, bye bye. And they all rush out pretty quickly. <sighs> and I head down the hall and uh, go to Dr. Carter's office. Okay. I should be in. Uh, yeah, he is yeah. in. Uh, yeah, come on in. Open the door. Oh, Anton. Leo. Real, real good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you doing? Uh, been kind of crazy. A little mm. hectic lately. Uh, how about you? We're doing fine. <laughs> yeah, good. All things considered. Good. Um, do you know how, uh, how the others are? Haven't really heard from them. They responded to email, but it's been a couple days. Yeah, things, things are good. Oh, good. A, a little concerning. You know, as they are. All things considered. Yeah. Um, listen, uh, it occurred to me a bit earlier, uh, Falcon was supposed to watch after uh, Proctor's house while she is gone. Yeah, she's just, uh, she's going there to, and he kind of leans around and he checks for any students that might mm. be potentially outside the door. Mm. He says, uh, yeah, no, she she pretty much goes by and makes sure Tilly's fed. Tilly's about ready to go home uh, probably in the next four or five days. Good, 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 good. Uh, but it occurred to me that uh, Falcon does not know how to access the Chantry. Oh. Oh, yeah, with with Proctor gone. I was going to go by. Uh, that, that might be a good idea. Are you busy? Would you like to join or...? I've got mountains of papers to grade. F fair. Um, it has been done in the past, but I'd like to ask you first, uh, considering, uh, mm -hmm. would you mind if I brought some of my coterie just in case? I think we are living in a very interesting time right now, so I think Proctor wouldn't mind. I can take any precautions if you think it might be... Well, I do trust them very much. They were chosen to be part of your coterie, so I'm sure they'll be well trusted. Thank you, Liam. I will uh, I will let you know if anything uh, interesting arises. Of yeah, of course. And I'll, I'll walk out, and on my blue phone I'll just send a group text just to everybody, see who responds, mm -hmm. of uh, if you're free, meet me at Emory University. Okay, so Aaron and Cirrus, you do get this message. All right. I've been held up at Lake Lanier for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, just hunkered down. I need a distraction because every few minutes I want to text Jessica. Yeah. And that's a bad idea. So I'm, I'll reply. I'm headed down and I'll head down. Okay. Um, as I look through the scope of my rifle, as I trace her down the hallway, Mm -hmm. I sigh, pack it up, and I text, I'm already here. Okay. Hmm. Close. I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll text back, uh, north parking lot. I'll just head, I'll head over that way. Do okay. In there. Okay. So you all head over to the north parking lot? Mm -hmm. Disassemble, pack up, come down from my vantage point, and make my way... <clears throat> to the north parking lot. Okay, and so you guys see Anton standing out there. Hmm. I assume it's just you two. Uh, Melisande and Tomasina did not respond, but these are busy nights. I imagine Mel's gonna be busy with the votes that have been coming in. Yes, uh, I imagine so. It's, it's difficult time for all. You doing okay? I was here. Hmm. You are uh, following up on lead? Something like that. Something like that. Uh, friends, I would like to give you a, let's call it rare opportunity and also favor. It has occurred to, uh, to me that 
I need to go to Proctor's house. And I need you all to, uh, to accompany me in case. Is this okay with you? Sure. Is this related to Tilly? No, it is not. Oh. But uh, it could prove interesting. It could prove mundane. We will see. But there are elements that uh, the house sitter may not be equipped to handle. I don't often get to see you work, so I think this would be nice. Nah. Based on current events, or recent events, I will watch her back. I appreciate that. Um, would you care for a single car? I know you tend to drive on your own. Would you mind if we all pull together? Of course, you can ride with me. Excellent. I will give you directions, and I'll hop in the passenger seat, and I'll pull out directions for the proctors. Okay, and Aaron, where are you going to sit? I'm in the back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a um, it's not a four door truck, but it's one of those that the the like back doors open, kind of like del- like a you know backwards style. So it's like a half a door. Little bench. A little yeah. bench in yeah. the back. Um, right. Just nestle in. I'm good. Not uh-huh. the worst. Okay. Yep. All right. So you guys do take off to Proctor's house. Mm-hmm. Um, you pull up to the farm. It's seemingly pretty quiet. No lights are on at the house, save for a porch light, uh, probably for security. No sign of uh, Falcon anywhere? Nope. Right. Falcon hasn't is not currently here. All right, I'll hop out. Do you want me to cover you from here? No, uh, you will not be able to. Understood. So, come, come, and I'll get out, and I'll turn on, I'm going to kick on uh, heightened senses and sense the unseen, just leave them on passively, see if there's anything... There is nothing in the farm. All right. Uh, as, um, as we go in, I'll, I'll reach in and grab my uh, sidearm and from the seat uh, holster where it is, and then okay. I keep it when I drive and put it in my, my uh, drop holster. Okay. So I have that, and then I have my uh, stake. Okay. And my jacket that I normally have. And make our way. Mm-hmm. I, f- I follow Anton. Okay. And so as you guys walk up, um, you can pretty much just hear the animals. Uh, some of the horses are, are kind of just huffing about. Uh, the goats are mostly asleep. Some chickens are kind of clucking here and there. And a stray cow moo from down the way. Uh, please do not spook the animals. It will make this a bit more difficult. Um, I'll just pick up an apple just in case <laughs> to bribe somebody. Okay. <laughs> I'll also heighten senses. Okay. Um, actually, I'll, I'll throw up since the unseen as well. Okay. <clears throat> kind of just looking around. What I'm about to show you to uh, is is privileged, and I do this speak. I do this out of trust. Uh, you will understand more momentarily, but understand that I invited you two and Melisande and Tomasina, though they may not join us, because of utmost trust. I hope this uh, hope this makes sense to you. I'll go over to uh, the empty stall. Okay. So as you go over to the empty stall, the horse it, the horse in the stall next to it kind of gruffs up at there being some strangers about, but it backs off. And you kick aside the hay, mm-hmm. and you see the very large trapdoor. Mm-hmm. As as we're like kind of waiting or anything, you know, I probably would have done this earlier, but. Any leads on the information I had you two looking into? Mm. No, not yet. It, it's it's only been a few days, but it's top priority. I'll lean out from uh from this the stall and say, I'm uh I'm working on uh making myself more useful in the other arenas that I mentioned to you. Understood. But uh possibly soon. We will see. Come. I just want to put my hand up to that other horse in the stall Mm -hmm. and see if it gets spooked or not. Strangely, the horse doesn't spook at you. Typically, animals uh, shun you because they know that you are undead. Mm -hmm. But the animals on this farm are well accustomed to the undead. Just a quick pet down the nose and then... Walk. Can I follow you? Okay. I'll toss the apple into the barn, into the stall with uh, the horse. Okay. All right. Remember, 
Trust. And I will open the trap door. Okay. <coughs> so as you open the trap door, you can hear a faint bit of music coming out, and you look down and you see the staircase mm -hmm. leading down into a dimly lit living room. Close the door behind you, and I'll go down onto the stairs. Got it. So, I'll be second down, and I'll kind of wit lean in, and are you expecting trouble? It's been a while since I've been here. I don't know what to expect, so I'm expecting anything. Yeah, I'll have my hand on my sidearm, but I will not draw. But, okay. uh, do be, do be cautious. I, this is familiar territory for me. Okay. And Aaron, you're coming downstairs third? Yes, I'm going to flick on, since it is dark and dim, Eyes of the Beast. Okay. Just as I'm walking down. Okay. And so as you guys come down... I'll just whisper back. Yes, and I'll make sure to close the door. Okay. And so as you guys go down, you come down into a living room with... Couches, chairs, a couple coffee tables, some tapestries, a few, uh, a few rugs strewn about. Looks very bohemian living room. And there's a staircase in the middle and a door across the way. This is the chantry of the Clan Tremere of Atlanta, owned by Proctor. Few people know of its existence. Many think that the chantry was destroyed during the final nights, it was. It has been rebuilt. Do not know where it is. What is a chantry? Think of it as a extra special Athenian for Ultramir. Hmm. A sanctum, if you will. It's nice. <sighs> Everything looks normal in here? Everything here looks normal. There's the staircase that goes down into the second level, mm. and then the door that you know leads into the library proper. I'll open that door. Okay. So, gentlemen, as you go in, you see <clears throat> a room that, for all its decoration, you can still recognize as an underground missile silo that has been converted. There is a iron staircase in the middle that leads down a few floors, but there's bookcases and small chairs all around the room. I'm taking note of pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. All right. And then you guys hear a sound from the staircase of someone coming up. I've got hand on pistol, but not drawn. Stay on guard, but I don't know what this is. No. As um, I'm going to make my way back out the door, and as I do, uh, I am going to uh, unseat passage. Okay. As, as I just break from their sight, and then I'll okay. come back. Let me borrow your... Yeah. I do not get more hungry. Okay. I'm going to flick off Eyes of the Beast, so that way I don't alarm anybody coming up the stairs. Okay. I'm kidding. I do get more hungry. Well, and so, coming up the stairs, you guys see a shorter individual in a long black coat. And if Elise, you could please join us. And so, as you come up the stairs, you see two men who you are unfamiliar with standing in the top level of the Chantry Library. Okay. Oh. Hi. I call out to them from the bottom of the stairs as I, like, go back towards the room I was in, and I go, Um... You are real, right? Ah. And you are supposed to be here? One second. I want to go back into the room I was in. Mm -hmm. I would like to return with my gun. Okay. My just standard pistol that was given okay. to me. I come back out, and I go, and the gun's like, tucked here, so that way I don't alarm yeah. anyone. But anyone looking could tell. Yeah. I'm bad at this. <laughs> and I go... Yes, and I don't think you're supposed to be here. I think you have five minutes to, to leave now. No, I 
I am actually one of the very few people that is supposed to be here. I no, do not know who I you are. No, I know about everybody that comes in here. You're not on the list. Sir, you are trespassing, and according to the law and the sign outside, trespassers will be shot, and I would very much like for you to exit the premise so that way I don't have to commit possible manslaughter. I want to, while, while they're talking, I want to scry the soul okay. on them. Uh, hmm. No. It doesn't, it, no, I, I failed that actually outright. Okay. <laughs> These two failures, so. When I, oh, yeah. These two so. <clears throat> so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna continue to try to persuade them instead. Okay. I think it is probably in your best interest to come up this way. It might, no, mm, let me say that again. Uh, I believe it would be best suited for all parties involved if we speak on a more even keel, no. On a flatter, so, no. Tick tock. You're not even wearing a watch. How do you know it's five minutes? How many else? How many? Hang on. One, two. Who else is up there? Just us. I'm gonna check to see how many bullets I have. Just us who? Just us. Two more. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to get my yeah. composure from the more. Yeah. The bane. <laughs> oh, the bane. So this is Anton. Hello, Anton. You are trespassing on private property. No, I'm not. I know the owner of this property, and you are not them. No, no. But I live here, and they haven't been back yet. Who do you think the owner of this property is? Elizabeth Proctor. Who the fuck are you? is up there. Mm, I suggest you put that down and come up here. I'm keeping it with me, but I will come up. Hold it above your head and come up. Now that's humiliating. I'd rather just leave it. So I go back. I set it down like a little coffee table. Okay. And, and I've succeeded in doing something <laughs> proper, so I'm just going to let it go. Straighten my coat. Okay. So I've uh, kind of moved around. Um, I'm going to activate Silence of Death as I move. Um, okay. And I'm I have drawn, and I am just aiming at the stairwell, waiting on them to come up. Okay. I'll just, I'll just whisper, hold fire. Hold fire. I come up enough, and I, as I walk, I go, can it be ensured that I will not be shot like a barn animal for slaughter as I come up these stairs? Show me that you are supposed to be here, and I can guarantee you will not die. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad that you have some control. Hmm. I will continue to pitter-patter up the stairs. And as I go up the stairs, you'll hear little, like, tink-tinks of heels. Mm. Um, but it seems like for every step I'm going up, I'm taking two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. So I'll, I'll get up on a step, get up on a step, and get up on a step. I eventually will approach mm. the everybody. Your just name? Two. Just, just two. two. Okay. Just two? Okay. He's okay. unseen. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so just the two. I go. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. So you know Proctor. I should say so. And you. Also know Proctor. No Proctor. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're fine. Everybody in here knows Proctor. We all know Proctor. Mm-hmm. Great. Just the two of you uh, and myself. Mm-hmm. Excellent. So. Now, if you wouldn't mind answering my question from earlier. Right. Who am I? Yes, who the fuck right. are you? Right. Uh, there's no need for profanity. Um, we'll That's see. It's rather not professional, but... Uh, Is this like a timeshare, and you guys are just crossing schedules? I am about to discover what? that. I shall see. Okay. Oh, are we... Oh, okay. Um... Mm. Sorry. My name is Cornelius Mayer. Anton Krovopolskov, and I'll shake the hand. <laughs> okay. Cornelius Mayers. Uh, Aaron, nice to meet you. Hi, Aaron. Um, as I pull back from at least Aaron, I want to try to drag my nail to get a tiny bit of Vitae from Aaron. Okay. Uh, is he let's maneuver? make that a dexterity and stealth check. Okay. And I'm at one hopper. So my dex is two. Since you're trying to do it sneakily. Okay, 
sneaky still. Only one success. Uh, you're able to do it, but Aaron, you do feel it. You feel a bit of a scratch. Maybe Cornelius has long fingernails. Mm-hmm. I kind of fold my hands back for a while, but I do so in a way that protects the hand that shook it mm-hmm. and protects specifically the nail because I'm okay. going to lick it later. Okay. <laughs> Saving it for later, like mm-hmm. leftovers. And uh, Cornelius. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yes, yes, Cornelius. You are not one of the very few people that I know that is supposed to be in here. So I'm for... not someone you know. That is supposed but to I be am in supposed there. to be. Mm. Where do you hail from? Here? Atlanta? Here? Okay. Around? Around. Yeah. yeah. And Proctor is like my person, not um Proctor comes around and like stocks the fridge and we chit chat and then Proctor leaves and I stay here and I read books. Proctor has been keeping you here. I don't like the term keeping. More like this is like a dorm. And do I, you leave? No, I stay Are here. Are you allowed to leave or do you use it your choice? I probably I decided not to based on like wordage. What wordage? Um you know what? Let's go back to the fact of who you are and who you are and who I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm supposed to be here. I don't know if you're supposed to be here. Proctor is my primogen. I'm supposed to be here. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so, so let me start again. We are cousins. Sure. Yes, yes. Uh, she told me we are cousins, in a way, and I don't know. What's your brand? He is not cousin. Got it. Right. Okay. So we're both Tremere. No. Same clan. No. And you are not a Tremere. No, and you? neither is he. Uh, see this? And I'll materialize with a gun pointed at your head. <laughs> you can put it down for now. Is this an act of aggression? Am mm. I sensing a threat? Act of protection. You can put it down, Sierra. That's fine. He'll, he'll lower it. Civilized. Reholster it. You have to understand, when Proctor went out of town, I did not expect anybody to be here. Much less okay. somebody who has been here for as long as you claim to be. However long that may be. A bit. A bit. Yeah, I, how long did we... Proctor, Proctor left town. Yeah, yeah, a few days ago. Like Atlanta or like... Most likely. The area. Most likely Atlanta. That provides a new situation for me. Hmm. Huh. I didn't know that. I can um, tell. How you haven't been here for a while because I've never seen you before. I've never seen you before. Um, you probably don't know the whole story. Um, would you like to? I suppose so. It's been about eight years since I've been down here. Okay. And I do not. We know must if... have missed each other then. I suppose you came in in the past eight years. Mm. What year do you think it is? It's definitely... Hang on. I check my actual, like, phone. I go, okay, so it still is... Uh, it is March in 2020. Okay, good. This is not a uh, blessed from the past situation. No, uh, not really. Does that happen of. often? It happens There's to Brendan Fraser. Here. Okay. Um, so if we're going to sit down and chat, can you get him to take at least five steps back? He can take two steps back. I'll come. Hmm. Two steps is fine. Are you okay with the serious? I'm sure he could get to me in two steps anyway. Oh, absolutely. But I'm, I would feel better if he could just... No one needs to get to anybody. And then he kind of looks to Anton and nods and then takes five steps back. Hmm. Oh, man, I can respect. As to Proctor. Hmm. Um, and where to start on my end... Let's start with when and why exactly you showed up sometime in the past eight years. A little before that. A little before eight years? A little before that. How long ago? It's when did you arrive in Atlanta? took about a year, two years for them to find me after 99. Um, about 
2010 to 2007 is when I showed up in the vicinity of what we're doing, uh, but not here. And at 2000, if we're going 10, in 2011 or 12, maybe 11, maybe less, I showed up here in the Chantry. And Proctor's kind of like, uh, according to, uh, the rules we all follow, um, Proctor's kind of been like, no, don't worry about it, I got this one, I'll take care of it, and kind of put me here. Hmm. Yes. How new are you? I feel like that's a trap question. You arrive in the vicinity of where you are in 2010, roughly. Maybe 2009, 8, 7, something like that. Let's count backwards from there. How long beyond that were you last human? Oh, that's the question you want. Yes. See, uh, being a pre-law student, I like everything very explicit mm. and explicitly stated. So... Um, like if we're going to go with actual details and you actually want them, I'm not sure I should actually give them to you. I don't think you need them. Seriously, you want to take a few more steps forward? I don't need to. Hmm, okay. He can just get to me anyway. Yes, me. he can. But, um, I don't feel all too comfortable, because I don't know who you are. You know Proctor, great. Lots of people know Proctor. Proctor's super important. She's a primogen. Yes. So, lots of people know Proctor, I assume. So, do you know in Proctor, and you know in Proctor, and you're not even a, even a Shmir, what are you? What's your clan? Uh, I'm a friend of Anton right now. Based on the brand, are you... Gangrel? Are you... Many people? Yes, yes. Really? Still... You're so clean! Thank you. That's so fun! <sighs> You have such a nice, well-kept dog. He's not my dog. What do you do? What do you turn into? Can we talk about something else? We can. Okay. Yeah. We can. We can go back to my question. You look like a bruja because you're very angry. Let's go with that. Okay. <clears throat> He's staring at me greatly. Yes, he is. I am, it's so fun that we don't have to blink. I am Anton Krivobusko, formerly of the Fifth Circle of Mysteries of the House of Tremere. Once the Chantry fell in 99, I became Anton Krivobuskov of House Karna. Yeah, 99. Yes. Isn't that, isn't that a fun year? Wonderful. Yeah. You now know who I am. Mm-hmm. You now know that I have been around since 99. Your turn. I've been around since 99. In fact, 99 was the exact time I started being around. Thank um, you. What happened was... Um, I ended up becoming this in 99, if we're going to jump past all the unpleasantries. Um, we can. It's fine. Yeah, I ended up becoming a this. And... Yeah. And then I stayed in my dorm for a while. Because they just didn't notice I was gone. It was like my apartment dorm. You're a pre-law. It's understandable. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I... I was hanging out for a bit. And uh, everyone just assumed I disappeared because I stopped going to class. Because I had day classes. <laughs> and then after that, I found some kind of other apartment to stay in. Um, and then they... Them at large, the Camarilla at large, found me. Mm -hmm. um, and then they were like, hey, you can't eat here. And I said, why? It's food. And they said, you can't eat here. And I said, I'm hungry, though. And they said, we know what you're eating. And I went, mm hmm. Now we have more things to talk about. <laughs> and then I went with them because it was either that or the business end of a barrel. I went with them. And... They negotiate great. It's it's barrel or car. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I went with them and got to the court and the meeting. And in a very, very short amount of time, Proctor was like, Wait, we don't have that many of Tremere left. Can we keep it, even though it doesn't have a sire? 
and I was staying there. The friends went, yeah, okay. And so the doctor was like, great. And then the Toreador Primogen, um, she was like, well, it needs to be taught etiquette. Et, 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 et. And the doctor's like, yeah, sure, for like a year. Because apparently we are very um, secretive, which is why I'm concerned why you are here. Because you're not supposed to be here. He has permission. you're like a wolf. He has permission. Of. They both have permission. But like, who are you to give that permission? You're not Proctor. No. Mm-hmm. I am acting as protector of this chantry while she is gone. As is my sire, as are the other Tremors. Oh, you that have know. a dad. Oh, mm. that's nice. Yes. What's that like? Mm, it's wonderful. <sighs> I'm sure it is. Anyways. Have you been reading this whole time? Well, there's a lot of books here. But is that all you do or can do here? Is there more? Uh, I there's There's music. I listen to music. And I read the books, and I learn how to do real fucking magic, so yeah, that exists, and I learned how to do it, and I can do it now. Do you want to see? I haven't had many people to show. Please, in like that direction, but yes. Okay. Show me what you can do. Okay. Am I allowed to hurt your friends? No. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take the little bit of blood that I have, mm-hmm. and I'm going to use Taste of Blood, and I'm just going to lick it, mm-hmm. and I'm going to... Okay, so the make the blood. roll... What is the roll for Taste of Blood? It is Resolve in Blood Sorcery. Okay. Because that's my trick. Three, One success. <laughs> uh, you get that he is gangrel. You are a dog. Uh, Here, come let me lick you next. <laughs> I don't get to do this very often. Mm. You with the angry face. I should lick you too. Mm, you don't want to do that, but you can try me and I'll... Okay. I'll cut some and go. In exchange? Uh, Proctor said that's dangerous. Yes, and I'm doing it to you anyway. All right. So I like take my wrist and mm. I just uh, and I'll just with, with, with okay. the ring I'll just cut on my palm and, and I go, okay eh. yep. I just, I just <laughs> so take you my both, finger and just you both take through. a little bit of blood uh, from each other uh, weird mutual snack is happening <laughs> three successes and a beast you <laughs> okay yeah, these two doesn't count for this one anyway. Uh, yeah. Five successes. Five successes. Mm, okay. Like a better magic user than me. <laughs> All right. So you are able to gather that he is a Tremere of the twelfth generation. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. And if you could let him know your generation, and if you have ever committed diablerie in the last ten years. Okay. I'm also twelve. Mm-hmm. We match. I've never committed diablerie. Okay. And I am also a Tremere. Mm-hmm. Go on. Uh, what other questions? Uh, that, no, that, no, that, that was it. That was, I, oh, that's it for his yeah, role. Yeah, so back in the character. Go on. We do match. We do match. You next. What do we match on? Uh, we are the same generation. Which is? Twelve. Wonderful. Uh, we are also both Tremere. Yes. And none of us have done the forbidden slurp. Yes. Right? That is correct. Yeah, okay. She takes a step towards me. I'm putting a bullet in her head. Understandable. Uh, uh, um, his head. He's off, lim- he's off limits. Yes. Uh, I know everything's a bit deceiving, but uh, yes. You are, am... you are slight. My apologies. It's okay. I get it. Mm. Being a demi boy, it's hard, but yes. He, please. Understood. So. You might find it's hard to get anything out of him. Oh, did... oh okay. So we can talk about other things. Right. So what do you turn into? I don't. Hmm. I am more curious as to why Proctor, given that we have so few Tremere left in the core of Atlanta, there are some that are on the outskirts of Atlanta, of different houses, why she kept you away from all of us? I mean, the prince was not nearly the way he is now back then. The way he is now? 
What's the way he is mm. now? Hmm. You tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. And that means... Why were you secreted away from the other Tremere to oh, here? right. Um, because of technically, according to our laws, I'm illegal and should not exist and should have been killed on sight. And in order to make sure I become a legal version of existence of myself, I need to learn how to be a Tremere and how our rules work and to be all like, oh, there's mm. the court and the prince and the privileges and the seneschal and the this and the that. And I need to learn magic. Mm. And so far, I've learned magic. And some positions of the court, because I had to be brought before them at some point. And every time we say court, I keep thinking of legal, and we end up going to an actual prince's court. Yes. So. So you did not have a sire at the time it was uh, taboo, and you were done here. Uh, yeah, it basically... It's reasonable. If it's... you want to really get into it, um, I was coming back from the library. It was midterms. I was going to uh, late night study. Mm-hmm. And on my walk back, I took a shortcut, like I always do, through the garage. And then I saw a lump of shadows or darkness move towards me. Mm-hmm. And I fell over. And I woke up, and it was nighttime again, and I was not where I was before. And I was really hungry. And the McDonald's doesn't satisfy at two in the morning <laughs> like a person does. <laughs> no, it does not. Uh, my apologies for that being your introduction. Oh, Ni- it was fun. 1999 was a difficult time, yes? Yeah, yes. Where'd you go to school? I just went to school around here. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to tell me. Now, you told me yours, I told you mine. Prince has been uh, a bit off lately. How so? Let's meet over them. This person has been down here for a decade. I feel like maybe they can be informed, yes? It's your choice. It's not gossip if it's true. The mm. prince isn't mm. here. What he isn't going to overhear, he can't take our heads for. The prince has sent the primogen on a mission. Uh, but in their absence, he has told the rest of the city that the primogen have abandoned them and has put out replacements. Proctor wouldn't abandon me, though. No, she would not. Proctor is my teacher. Yes, because she did not abandon you. She was sent. We were all there when the order was issued. And yet, the rest of the city now has new primogen because the prince has insisted they all just went away. Wait. We have an us issue, then. Yes, we do. No, besides Proctor... I'll find out how to get food somehow. We have plenty of animals. Um, but... So the prince sent Proctor away. Mm-hmm. And that's my food. Mm-hmm. Um, there's three of you, so okay. Um, and the prince replaced the court. Yes. Why? That is... The million dollar question. Uh, but as I am not Regis Philbin, I do not have answer to it. We are hoping to find this out soon. We are hoping to right this wrong soon. And then we can tell that uh, smug piece of shit off about it. And you would know in your history in Atlanta that Prince Talbot was not always like this. Surely when you met him, he was uh, more level-headed, more. Uh... So something is clearly affecting his mind, and therefore. That was just a dick. No, no, because he wasn't always like this, and a sudden change is alarming. Hmm. He'll make me a let's call it intelligence and in 
investigation. Or no, intelligence and occult. I'm very good at that. He was uh, he was erratic, he was angry, he was impulsive, he was tapping me on the leg. <laughs> I'm very smart. <laughs> Apparently not that smart. Four successes. All right. And so you do recall um, there's a couple books on sudden mood changes. Um, you know that typically a cause of out of nowhere erratic behavior can be the cause of a blood bond. Okay. And other stuff, I'm sure, too. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, what was your name again, cousin? Ant- Anton. Anton. Cyrus, right? Cyrus. Cyrus. Aaron. Aaron and Anton? Yeah. Do you spell it with two A's? Of course. A-A, Ron. All right. Oh, you do a TV. Yeah. Hmm. No, I watch I watch YouTube all the time. Oh, okay. What do you... Yeah. You know, I, I stay up to date. I'm not living under... You are. I'm living under a barn, not a rock. Mm. <laughs> so... Um, Based on what you've told me, yeah. and I think, and if you wait here, I'm gonna go run back down to the library real quick. Okay. So you hear click, 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 because I take two steps for every one step everyone else takes. So I'll be honest with you guys, I'm more amused than anything. I don't think we were. We've been standing on this staircase for a while. Do you mind if we just like back up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some comfy couch. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. Let's walk back up the stairs a bit. Yeah, there's a, there's a few couches and chairs along the wall. So you guys can sit down. Hey, you all doing okay, Cyrus? Yeah, in the future, you don't need to use my name around company we do not know. If they are uh, property of Proctor... Don't care. Not them. I'd like to come back with at least three books on the subject. Okay. That I have just, just even if they mentions it remotely. So okay. I come back books in arms full of them. I sprawl them out on the table, and I go, so I found these. Uh, and I flip through one, I present it, I flip through another, and I present it, I flip through one where it has just one paragraph on it, and I present that one too. I go, so, based on my readings, um, your prince is completely bloodbound to something. Bloodbound? Oh, for sure. Um, so, his mood changes, right? Mm-hmm. He's being affected by something, and it's affected his demeanor, how he treats people, and the d- decisions he makes. Now, originally, I did think it possibly could be a, a maybe demontation or dominate or something of that nature, but it doesn't seem like that based on the frequency at which it occurs, and therefore, I've come to the conclusion that something is feeding him, and it's not one of us, because apparently we can't do that, because something happened, and a th- It's complicated, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, I believe your prince is being blood-bound by something, and my first guess is dependent on something that is seducing him, because typically that's how that happens. This is a very old, very powerful prince, and you think that they are simply tricking him into drinking their blood enough times for a bond? Well, it, uh, as far as I know, it should only take three sips. And I think there's a few different ways to give somebody your blood. Uh, you can poison their drinks. You can get them to actually drink it. You can offer something in exchange. And since there's so many ways to trick someone, I would not think it out of the question for something even more powerful than the prince to trick the prince into drinking its blood. And therefore, together, you have this unfortunate news. And so, Anton, if you could make me a... We'll call it intelligence and occult as well. There's not really a history category. Three, I'm going to pick up one of the books. Five, and six, see if you see it. Seven, eight, and I have a specialty in it. You're gonna do great. So what? Uh, five critical lines. Five critical? Yes. Okay, so you know that in Atlanta, during the final nights, there were people more powerful than Talbot uh, that were quite formidable, and you figured they were all gone. They are the Clan La Sombra. 
can I use any of my uh, my sect ward knowledge to recall anything like you know, like where they might have congregated? As whatnot? far as you know, uh, they were ousted along with the Sabbat. Mm-hmm. But to your recollection, for how old and how powerful Talbot is, only a La Sombra would overpower him. Okay. This is, uh... If this is the case, this is not good. Yeah, you don't say. Mm -hmm. Um... And at the same time, Cornelius, you do see in your book, uh, signs of a La Sombra bloodbound are erratic behavior, violence, and there is tell of people previously bound by La Sombra completely dismantling the Camarilla to place a La Sombra in power. Mm. So I'm going to push up my little glasses here. Look at you, Leo. It says, if you have all the following symptoms, you might be bound by a La Sombra. And I'll talk about how you know, everything you said. Um, so yeah, so if you're a uh, violent, erratic, dismantling the Camarilla, you might be bound by a La Sombra. So it's kind of like the WebMD version of blood bonding, but I think it checks the boxes and it wouldn't hurt to get him checked out. And these symptoms, these don't apply, these do not all apply to other potential blood bindings. No, this is this is specifically the Sombra. Now, I'm sure if, say, uh, a gangrel decided to bind somebody, it would feel very, like, dog-like. They, they, I think they'd want to go play fetch or something. I don't know what you people do. Um, no, you don't. Uh, if maybe a Bruja, uh, if they bound someone, maybe they'd get more angry. I'm assuming it reflects whatever clan is taking hold. Mm. But, um, How do you unbond someone. Well, that's can trickier. You? you can, but, um, you know, I, I don't want to sit here. Can we go in the living room, please? Yeah. I have a record on. Okay, and so you guys do go back into the living room. Huh. Okay. And there's a record going on the Victrola. Awesome. Is there the mini fridge there? Yes. Okay, so I go to the mini fridge. I take out a blood bag. And I take a Capri Sun straw from the straw pile. Yeah. I unwrap it and I stick it in there. And I go, so. So yes, to answer your question, yes. Everyone, please take a seat. Are, are you too hungry? I'll be okay. I'm fine. Do you ever stop scowling? No. Okay. And I stay standing. Okay. Are you? You can't sit. Like I'm. I'm not very scary. I'm sorry. He likes to lock his knees. Okay, like a, like a cow and a horse. All right. I set the blood bag onto the table. Um, so anyways, yeah, there is a way to get rid of the bond, however. Um, it's difficult, especially if you don't know the person who's binding them. But what you really need to do, uh, according to my knowledge, and it might be out of date, but um, you would have to get your prince away from this person Mm -hmm. for some considerable amount of time. Mm -hmm. So no contact, no phone, no text, no email, no nothing, no sippies. Um, And you'd have to do that and you'd have to monitor and make sure he doesn't escape uh, because unfortunately, when you're bound to somebody, you really, really like that person. So it's going to be very hard to keep that person away from that other person. And this would all, of course, be predicated on the notion that he did this against his will. If he did oh, yeah, it no, if he did this purposely, we have to get a new prince. Yeah. Throw the old one out. Mm. This is, that's a whole other thing. Mm. But um, I think that maybe since he seemed like a pretty okay man when I met him, he doesn't want this to happen, so maybe, maybe not shoot him in the face right away. Cyrus... We will see. It's up to up to all of you, but um, we have another issue, I think. Uh, just us. Hmm. Just, just you and me. They're fine. Okay. Um, do you really want them here for this? This is kind of a Tremir thing. I trust them. Yeah, but I don't trust hmm. them. I don't know them, and that one wants to like scowl into my soul. The three of us 
and two more that did not join were entrusted by the primogen with the protection of everybody in the city. Oh, look at the big britches on all of you. Mm, that That's inc- great. That includes but you. But clan and house come first, fellow Tremere. Hmm. So if you want to clan and house this, we can. If you want them to hear precious Tremere secrets, sure, we can do that too. But Proctor will be hearing about this. Hmm, Mori, would you folks mind uh, staying here? And I'll gesture back to the library. Okay. Okay, and so you two walk into the library together, and I assume you shut the door behind you. Mm-hmm. Mm. I definitely shut the door. Mm. So. Pray tell what is so important regarding our clan. I heightened senses to see if I can hear this conversation. Well, you can. Good. Uh, the issue on the table between you, me, and Proctor mm. is that so far I'm aware that it's you, me, and Proctor that are the only Tremere at land. No, there's three more. There's three more. Excellent. Um. But she, Proctor's told me about how the Tremere are supposed to run. They're supposed to have like a primogen and apprentices and like a regent and the pyramid and mm. back, I, when, back when we had the tower, yeah. The, I thought we were a pyramid. Mm, both. Fair. Um. But we're supposed to function that way, and we don't have any of that, but we have a bunch of Tremere in the city. See my point? We're supposed to house and clan this, you know. Um, so why don't we? Did Proctor... Proctor did not bring you up in a particular house, I see. She just uh, informed you of the general nature of Tremere? Yeah. There is more than one house of Tremere. But house and clan. Tremere, Tremere. Tremere, Tremere. Tremere, Tremere. Tremere, Tremere. Nah. To an extent. Okay. But even, uh, like any good siblings, even we fight. Everything that you have read was the case in Atlanta as the primary example until 1999 when everything went to shit. Mm. Some of those people still exist. Most of them are uh, around Atlanta when the when the tower crumbled and the pyramid fractured, as it were. Uh, they are still out there. They still follow the teachings. Of, but they're uh, rogue at that point. Yes or no. As far as they are concerned, they are still following the teachings of Karl Schrecht, and things are good. But the primogen of Atlanta is my house. Okay. Which is House Karna, as I stated to you earlier. So I'm kind of adopted into your house, I'm assuming. It's possible. As, um, as you are being taught in this house, it is possible. House Karna is more revolutionary in terms of ideas when it comes to how the Tremere function. Okay. We're more, uh... Do you remember all the shit I told you? The, uh, fifth circle of mysteries, etc., etc. Yeah. It's all bullshit now. No one cares a shit. It's gone. It mattered then, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. That's... 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 Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So... And I'm, I'm just upset, because I spent, like, five months reading that. Oh, no, no. This is important knowledge. I have this knowledge as well. You must know this. Okay. Because, should you ever decide to leave your uh, little pit of knowledge and travel around, you may find yourself in a city that is House Tremere of Clan Tremere, and you'll need to respect them. How come we don't do it here, though? Because the Primogen vanished. Everything went to hell. Many of us died, mostly Tremere. Proctor stepped up. Proct- so Proctor's our regent, then? Regent Primogen, it merged. But Proctor's gone. For now. So we have a new Primogen Regent. According to Talbot. And unfortunately... I, did, did, did. I, I read that they aren't the same position. I read that a Primogen and a Regent are separate. To House Tremere, yes. Yeah, but to us... It's more freeform. 
Okay, let's go back and do it the other way, because I don't trust the new thing that's been put in place. Neither do I. We are cool. on the same page. So let's let's just do House Chimera again? Mm-hmm. Cool, okay. So we need to have a regent. Do you want to be regent? Not particularly. Why not? Because I'm not House Tremere, and because I like the way that things function in House Karna. But if it makes you feel better, I will oversee this sex, this area. I will help you with your food. I will come by to ensure you have your needs. If you need to study, I have resources that are not in here. You have more books. I have more books. All right. You, um, you can, I shudder to say it, you can consider me like a regent, but please, for the love of everything, do not call me one. Okay. Um, am I allowed to leave under your watch? That is a question I would like to ask Proctor. When okay, because Proctor said no. I would like to ask her because I am very curious as to why. Okay, but Proctor's not here, and if you're going to be the not regent regent, mm -hmm. you could say yes. I could, and then... And I could leave. And then if Proctor comes back... I'm getting the feeling Proctor's not coming back. Oh, she's coming back. How are you so sure? Arrangements have been made. Okay. So then you would know when Proctor's coming back. What if I'm just here when Proctor gets back? What if you give me like a text? Mm. I don't want to be in here anymore, is what I'm trying to tell you. I've been in here a long time, and you were the first three people I've seen in about 10 years, except Proctor, but Proctor isn't really around. Proctor comes in, we hang out, Proctor leaves, and it's been a while. I get to go upstairs to the farm and pet the horses, and they're not even people. That's why I asked if you were real. I'd like to leave. At least go outside and, like, to a store. My concern is... Say you do not come back. Well, you can always get the bounty hunter to come have me if I don't pay for bail. What bounty hunter? Your friend, your... your... It's not a bounty hunter. Oh, he looks like one. Do you get it? The, the show, Bounty Hunters? It's, you bail someone out of prison. I've seen it. They don't come back. I've seen it. So get your bounty hunter friend. It's a I'm doing a joke. <clears throat> All right, all right, fine. I'll ask Proctor, she'll say no. That's fine. Um, let's not keep your friends waiting. What other magic do you know? Um, I can hurt people. Okay. I can lick things very good. Okay. Have you learned of uh, something called bloodstones? I know they exist, I'm working on that one. Okay. I haven't got it down yet. I'll tell you what, let me get an agreement with you. Mm-hmm. I have some in my possession. Okay. I will bring you one. Okay. It will be attached to you in a way that does not leave you. You and can't I, just give it to me? You can let it, you can throw it away. Okay, because I don't... You're it, not going to, like, stick it inside my skin, are you? Something like a bracelet. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It'd be very fashionable. Yeah, one that doesn't come off, but bracelet. It's so like a handcuff. Mm. Think like a bangle, but it's a little too small for the hand. Point is, you were placed on house arrest, effectively, by Proctor. A little bit, hmm. yeah. And it wasn't really my fault. I right. didn't commit a right. crime. I yes. really wanted to see a lawyer, but they don't have those here. Your prince just goes no. ahead and people. This is probation. Sure, I'll take it. This is probation. And this way, if you are kept here for a reason that is regarding your safety, because I do not know that and maybe you do not know that either, if you go missing, we can find you and help you. 
That would be very nice. I like not being attacked by things. And that is why you have probation. These I would still sleep here, but I do like. Is that? We want to go outside again. Yes, and I will. I will grant you this. I will go, get, come back, and grant you this. I feel this is a compromise I can explain away. Okay, that works. Um, cool, fun. All right, let's let's go see your friends. Mm-hmm. What are they again? A Aaron and Cirrus. Yeah. Okay. I'll All open right. the door. I pick up the books that I left and I go put them neatly back on the shelf. <clears throat> okay. All right. And so, Cirrus, you heard the entire conversation. Mm-hmm. Aaron, you studied the wonderful tapestries throughout the room and really enjoyed the music. Mm-hmm. Some, uh, like, alternative, like, 1975, the band mm-hmm. music. Like, something you would not really expect in a chantry. Mm-hmm. You yeah. good? Mm-hmm. When you come back up, just standing there, waiting. Mm. Apologies for the delay. Um, we are going to go. I'll walk back in and yeah. get my juice box. Yeah. I will. I will come back to um to do a additional check in. But I believe we are good here. We may need to uh, inform the others of uh, Cornelius's theory, mm. as it were. So we're not killing him. No. You still thought that? That's funny. No, Proctor, Proctor has the name for a reason. Am I saying your name right, Cyrus? Cyrus. Cyrus. Okay, Cyrus. I'm very bad with names. I'm sorry. Mm. Um, uh, I did want to suggest, mm. uh, since I'll be here for a bit, mm-hmm. um, if you need help with anything, you can just come say hi. You don't have to not come say hi. I can come upstairs. Yeah. And we can meet in, like, the barn, and we can, like, have a picnic. Me and Proctor have picnics. We can have a picnic. It is definitely a possibility. Can you pet the horses? Is that a thing you can do? They don't like me. Yeah. It's it's a horse. You pet it. They don't like me. They don't let me pet them. Well, you eat them. I don't eat them. No. But in your hand. That is not horse. Is it, like, sheep? No, it's human. Do you want some? Sure. I, mean, <laughs> I put my juice box in his hand and I get another one. And I get a new straw. I go, you can have that one. Or do you want this one? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Very hospitable. Do you want one too? I'm fine. I promise you it's person. It's quite good. Mm. It is person. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. And it makes like a slushy noise when the bags <laughs> jiggle together. It's horrible. Right. Cornelius, if you could, uh, if you wouldn't mind, any other research that might be in here regarding this La Sombra, mm-hmm. I'd be very interested to see what you find on them. La Sombra specifically? Yes. Like I, a research paper? Oh, okay. I encountered um, some. Uh, oh, you did? Yeah, but... How was that? <laughs> frightening. I'm sure. No. I'm sure. Uh, from what I've read, uh... I believe they are just masses of horrible that hide in literally anywhere. Mm. So. Word, words do not do it justice, but yes, uh, consider this homework. What do you do? I'm a history professor. I figured as much. Mm. As soon as you said consider it homework, I was like, oh, I've had professors like you. Mm. You're the professor that like keeps it and the bell doesn't dismiss you, I do kind of professor. I let my class go a good few minutes early today. How many minutes? Fifteen or five? Because five doesn't count. Sophia wasn't keeping track. <laughs> it was about five minutes. Sophia <laughs> <laughs> wasn't what do keeping you, And you teach history? Hmm? Do you think they have classes at night for law students? Once you actually get into the law program, possibly. Okay. I've been out for a while, but I really wanted to get back into it as soon as I get out of here. Let's see what you find, and I will see what I find. Okay, that sounds good. Um, I'll go over some books. Uh, Cyrus, do you have any things you want me to research? You look like a man with many thoughts. You ready? I'm ready. What about you? Honestly, this blood bonding thing is kind of interesting. Okay. I don't know how it works across clans, but 
anything. I take one of the books, I you know, go back into the library real quick, as fast as I can, I snap a picture of the one of the pages, mm-hmm. and I come back in, and I go, I can text it to you. If you want to swap numbers. That way at least one of you can text me. Why don't you take Anton's number, since he'll be your point person. Okay. Can you use one of these? Sometimes you guys can't. I can, but if you do not mind, I'm going to take a picture of that with my personal phone, and I will give you my number for separate reasons. It's a security. Okay. I heard about the whole people are out there wanting to, like, kill us for being us kind of thing. Mm. Isn't that something? Huh, you know? Not everybody takes kindly to it. You know, I get it. When you when you eat a bunch of people, not people. People don't like you at that point. But like, I've never killed anybody except twice. So like, those are pretty good numbers for us. Twenty years, two people. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, that's two. That's one a decade. Could you get me the book uh, that you took the picture of, so I could take picture and then give you number? I run back into the library, <laughs> and, and, and it's just and scuttly, too. scuttly, scuttly. And you too, if you'd like, I can meet you upstairs. Sure. It's fine. Thank you. You don't have to <laughs> leave on this. back out of the library with the big tome. And I'm like, I, look, probably I just me. bookmarked it for you. Thank so you, and I'll, I'll take a picture of it. Uh-huh. May I have your phone? Yeah. I'll mm-hmm. give you my, my actual number. Okay. I immediately are text you, giving, you. Are you giving him the blue phone number no. or the cell phone? My cell phone. I was told okay. not to give the blue phone number. Good. Yep. I immediately text you to see if it works. Yep. Buzz. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, and my name is. And. And the smaller one is. Aaron. And the scary one is. Cyrus. Could you do me a favor and forget his name? And I want to see if I can cloud memory on on the name of Cyrus. Okay. Which is going to be Charisma and Dominate versus Wits and Resolve. Mm. Okay. Uh, two successes for me. Uh, so critical. So four. Critical. Is, four. It, is, it, is it two? Uh, it's a messy critical. Yeah, it's the messy crit and with stars. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah. Right. So you will remember. Then what? Would you mind forgetting it? Sure. You would appreciate it. Sure. Thank you. Is there a way I can like check to see if he's used a power on me? Not really. No, this one you don't know. Okay. So it just it seems just like seemed I'm asking like, you a favor. Yeah, it seems like it. a weird request. Yeah. I go, sure, I can I can forget his name. I was gonna go. Poof. He's a private sort. Yeah. Mm. Who are we talking about? <laughs> Thank you. Good man. And I'll head upstairs. <laughs> Alright. And, and I'll call back down. I'll be back shortly. And I wave and I go, okay. Uh, do do come back eventually, please. T- tonight. Oh, okay. I'll close the door up top. All right, and that is where we are going to leave off. Thank you all so much for joining us, and thank you, Elise, for joining us as well. Yes. Don't forget to check out Blood and Betrayal Redemption at bynightstudios.com. Thank you.